under her clothes. What's under her soft fur? Stop. Oh, please stop. The warm flesh, my hands. I thought you said you were stopping. All right, who's ready to watch Sexy Zootopia? Sorry, Sexier Zootopia. I know I'm a little late on the Beastars hype train, but I woke up this morning wanting to mix things up a little and you guys have requested this show an upsettingly large amount. So we're finally getting into it. Okay, this opening isn't as sexy as I thought it would be. Whoa, okay. Look at Beastars having a little style. Right out the gate, the CGI is like a little off-putting, right? That's not a controversial opinion. Oh my god, anime YouTuber denounces CGI anime? Stop the, stop the presses. You know, I'm not really dealing out any hot takes here. However, this right here, this little art style change, Mwah, magnifique. Makes me feel like we're in good hands, you know? Makes me feel like the CGI was like an artistic choice rather than a budgetary constraint. And you can see them like showing it off too. Like when the door opens just a little bit and the light hits them and you see where the light hits, it goes back to the regular kind of shading. Like they're showing off right there. Like they're reassuring the audience that they have put work into this art style. And I appreciate that. That's super cool. You mean... You would really eat your classmate? We were always in the same class together. Uh, yeah, that's what classmate means. You dumb fucking sheep. <laughs> Yo, this looks fantastic. I love this weird, like, like darkness casts its own kind of light look they're going for. This is so much artsier than I ever could have predicted. Listen to Vivaldi just going fucking nuts on the violin in the background. Devoured? Did you hear? It was Tem from Drama Club. Did school not get cancelled? Somebody ate a kid. No, wh what, no half day? No day off? No assembly? Well, we can't be sure it was a student. But it's pretty obvious it was a carnivore. I mean, yeah, herbivores don't really go around eating people. Sorry to say, but isn't it ironic? That a drama student was murdered and eaten? Drama club was one of the only places where- <laughs> Is that ironic? It seems more tragic than ironic to me, but... I don't know, maybe I'm just not seeing the irony here. I still- Jesus Christ, you can't just slap a rhinoceros head on someone and call it a day, guys! Is that all this is to you? You're just tossing animal heads on people bodies and you're just fuck. You're good? You're cool with that? Look what you've done to this poor girl. She looks, she looks like a fucking menace. You know that Tem was closely involved with the carnivores in this club. S so? Are you accusing us of something? Oh uh, yeah, eating that kid. I love how they're all immediately prejudiced against each other. I can't wait for this show to be like flooded with animal-based microaggressions. Hey, Did you know I can't crack these walnuts. Where's Legoshi? Hey, you, it's not Legoshi's job to be a nutcracker, you know. God, that is just like a fucking squirrel. Why don't you get your head out of your nuts, dick monk? <laughs> Oh my god, this is way too tense. This is absolutely not the euphoria meets Zootopia I was expecting it to be. The tone of this show is so suspenseful. It's like a weird animal noir. It's like black sad. Go away! Tougher than you think! <laughs> you should have this. It's a love letter. Hey, douchebag, how about you use your words next time instead of stalking her from the woods like a menace? Kids are getting eaten on campus right now. It's a bad time to be acting like an antisocial goofball. She literally said, get away from me. That not warrant a response? No, thought it'd be better to test out your close quarter combat techniques on her? Okay. Sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything to you at all. That is the opposite of the problem. I'll be just fine. Feared and hated. That's the story of my life. Oh my god, somebody check up on Lagoshi in an hour and see if he's doing alright. Guy either sounds like he's gonna go home and write some slam poetry or throw himself into traffic. Look, it's Louie! The star of Adler! on stage and in real life! Oh boy, everybody make way for tall, dark, and antlered. His gestures, his voice, and his gaze. He must have it all down. Yeah, you see, Lagoshi gets it. I'm fine. You guys can't hurt me, so I don't know why you even bother trying. Is that Kari from Digimon? You guys can't hurt me, so I don't know why you even bother trying. 
Oh my god, unless they guillotine you with your mattress. Mattresses for rabbits are really that small? Hey, won't you mind your own fucking business, Anteater? I'll give you a hand with that. I wouldn't. Uh, That's Haru. The fuck are you so judgmental for? You're a horse the size of a rabbit. Don't even worry about it, Haru. I got your back. Sally, you could have stopped them if you were here. She's kind of pissed off right now. It's best that you leave her be for a bit. Well, this is gonna be a frustrating show, isn't it? This is the most hostile school environment I've ever seen. Doesn't matter where I sit, delicious food is still delicious. Oh no, stop. I can't handle people being bullied while they're eating. Eating's supposed to be a safe, happy time, okay? No one should ever be sad while they're eating. It's too sad. I can't handle people getting bullied while they're eating. I'll get- I'll be so pissed. Alone after that student was devoured like your lunch. <sighs> Suddenly the food doesn't taste so good. God damn it! <laughs> Guys, I hate this show. Don't tell me you went and ate that script. That is all that goats like you are good for, isn't it? Eating paper? Okay, this is mean and everything, but like, did he eat the script? Because that's a pretty big fuck up. Goat or not, you can't go around eating your script if you're starring in a play. I am curious about one thing. How could you possibly think you could replace Tam? <laughs> Holy shit, what a crazy way to stop a punch! Didn't even try to catch it, Lagoshi just threw his body right in front of it. Also, it's a good thing that punch wasn't strong, because I'm pretty sure it would have torn his arm clean off if it was. Way to block it with your ball and socket joint, you lanky idiot. Actor safety first. That's the job of the stagehands, right? I- uh, No, not really. I'm pretty sure a stagehand just, like, adjusts lights, but... Whatever, this is your moment, Lagoshi. Ah, uh, well... I'll let it go at least this time. These poor herbivore students constantly terrified they're gonna get eaten by their classmates. Disappointing. And what if I were to offer you one of my legs? You'd salivate and happily accept, am I right? <laughs> I mean, if you're offering. Guys. Come on. Oh my god, what is this? This looks ridiculous. <laughs> Oh my god, he's having a brain blast! But even with this sad life, I still had a reason to run. Jesus Christ, why is everybody fucking depressed in this show? Aww. He just wanted a big ol' hug. Brief episode transition, if you guys are enjoying this video and you want to help support the channel, make sure you consider donating my Patreon. There you'll get access to exclusive reaction videos not found anywhere else, as well as access to my own private Discord server. Your guys' support is genuinely what makes all of this possible and what allows me to keep putting out videos as frequently as I do. And if you want to help support the channel in another way, make sure you hit that bell notification icon and throw a like on the video. It really helps the algorithm a ton. Or rather, it helps me fight the algorithm a ton. So if you're enjoying this video, make sure you throw on a like, I'd really appreciate it. And on to the next one. I just want to be a shell. Then I don't have to wake up or sleep. Ever. Seriously guys, somebody check in on Lagoshi. Lagoshi! <laughs> you can't just sleep the day away, you know. I said I want to be a shell! This is the weirdest, almost mainstream anime I've ever seen. I know so many people from college who saw this as their gateway anime show. I like it, I'm into it. It's fucking weird as hell though. Under her clothes, what's under her soft fur? Stop. Oh, please stop. The warm flesh, my hands. I thought you said you were stopping. <sighs> All it takes is one bite. Look, this show... Not doing a great job at convincing me carnivores and herbivores should be in school together. My man is struggling not to eat this girl right now. Legacy, give me a hand, would ya? Uh, sure. Look, Legoshi may be a wolf, but he sure don't prance like one. Whoa! <gasps> Sorry, go ahead. Oh, uh... Thank you. Get the fuck out of the way, you dumb, stupid squirrel! So, Lego she, you did say I would look great with glasses, right? Tell me more about that. This guy knows how to start a conversation. I can still feel the sensation from last night. I don't want to touch anything soft. 
Okay, well, that's gonna be a little hard when you go to Japan's fuzziest school. Did you think you'd beat me just because you're bigger? Yeah, bitch, make a move. All right, think. How can I lose on purpose and make it look real? Lugoshi is so confident he can rock your shit that his brain has to go through a series of algorithms to figure out how it can convincingly lose on purpose. So once again, I beseech you, bitch. Make a move. Huh? Being a carnivore isn't so easy either. Jesus, this dude got a chorus of moans just from walking through the cafeteria. If you really want the title of the next B-Star, you need to work on gaining popularity. Popularity? The girls gave him a standing ovation just for existing. If he's the justice around here, what's that make me? It makes you nothing. What? You're just a handsome wolf boy. Get over yourself. Either that or it makes you the on-campus serial killer. But I'm pretty sure it's the on-campus serial killing that's been doing that. Water. Wind. Fire. Every dead soul in the universe is trying to kill you. Yo, this play bangs. I'm gripped. I'm absolutely gripped. Show me the rest. Damn, I was supposed to have a part in the show, but now I'm on sewing duty. Oh, Kai. You seem to be good at the task, though. Huh? Uh... You think? Yeah. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> wow, this poor guy is so desperate for validation. These two get together? This is my star couple of the show so far. With one compliment, this fucking peacock just lit up this weasel's whole world. Playing the role of Adler. Whoa, get your gross ass fucking deer toes out of here! I didn't need to see that! I didn't need to see that at all! I want to decorate the auditorium and door with roses. You know, to go with the final scene. I'm sorry, were you talking? I was just so lost in your eyes. She's such a small rabbit. The Devil's Garden. Yo, honestly, I say take a bite already. Just take a little bite, come on, a wolf's gotta eat. What, what, like she's using all that flesh? I suddenly remembered an errand I have to do. Hmm. I, uh... I forgot about an errand! Huh? Shoot, I gotta go back right now! Jesus, does this anteater wanna eat her too? I don't think I've ever had a conversation with a small animal before. She's like the same size as your anteater friend. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized Lugoshi's tie technique is fucking abhorrent. She's gonna get scared. Um, if I was a rabbit, that. Spoiler, Lugoshi stands here mumbling to himself like a psychopath for the next 40 seconds. <laughs> oh boy. Uh oh, things are starting to heat up. Oh, well, hold on though, <laughs> wait. Whoa, 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 easy with the belt! Oh no, this rabbit's doing a strip tease! Don't worry, it's fine. You can be rough, I can handle it. What? No, you cannot! You think you can do these things, but you just can't! What the fuck, I'm not on Tumblr, I should be safe from this shit! Oh my god, yep, yeah, they can't, they cannot! Look how she's gonna tear this poor girl in half! In one, in one way or another! Alright! <laughs> well, that's B-stars, you fucking degenerates! Okay, so, um... What I think of the show. It's, it's, pre it's pretty good. No, it's cool. Um, I, I, <laughs> huh. I really like the noir stuff. Like I said, the art, it's very clear to me that they are utilize, even if the CG is a budgetary constraint, it's very clear to me that they are going into it confident and with like a lot of style in mind. You know, it's not like the Berserk anime where it's just like, this really obtrusive, obnoxious looking CG. Like, the CG looks very good in here. I love the tone. I like that it's this weird, hyper suspenseful, hyper tense, uh, like mystery kind of deal. Everyone's either got like, everyone's got like a little bit of hatred in them. And like, like, cold hatred. Like, Louis very interesting to me. He's great. I didn't need to see a rabbit striptease, though, if I'm being honest. It's not, like, to the point where I wouldn't recommend the show to someone so far. I'm two episodes in. I'd understand if they went in with some trepidation, however. It's also just, like, super... It's uncomfortable because of the context, too, you know? Like, Haru getting used so much is fucked. 
<laughs> for this story about a little like snow hair. But yeah, like I said, just woke up wanting to do something new. There's only 12 episodes of this, so I could get this done in like six videos. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a like, hit the bell notification icon so you get notified when I upload, and look forward to more reactions and more Let Me Explains coming in the very near future. And I will see you guys next time. But now I always seem to freeze.